I'm from Mexico City. Where I grew up, it was hard, you know, and, and you try to express all your feelings. It's an easy way how to express all that, you know, just by painting. You start thinking on something and then you, you do it. When I was a teenager, we never had uh, the opportunity to do our own six screen because it was kind of pricey, you didn't know how to do it. So I came up with the idea like, how about we do a stencil? Like we cut it. I didn't even know the name of it. I was just thinking like, maybe we should just cut it and spray paint it. So I did it once and then I liked it. And then it became more like an obsession. This is what I used to use. This is it. And sewing needles. So with the sewing needle, you just kind of like, go like that. Because there was no exacto knives. <laughs> I always was in punk bands. I always was uh, more involved into anarchism. And um, that's how everything started in musical, political. And if I'm going to do stencils, I think it had to be, it had to be related to that. Especially when I do uh, political stuff, I get pretty bad comments. Like, you should do something more positive, something more, more happy. When I'm doing it, I, I'm really happy, I get excited, you know, they create happiness. I don't, I don't see where you see the darkness on my paintings, because it's, it's fun. I don't, I'm not sad when I'm doing it, I'm really excited. I like to recycle a lot of stuff. Most of my paintings are spray paint on, just pieces of wood that I find or things that are given to me. What I do is I paint and recycle materials and then I set them in places around the city. And I really love the idea of doing that because then I would just leave it there and someone will either throw it away, pick it up, or I don't know what happened to it. But it really makes me happy to be able to create something. For me, that's, that's it. If somebody buys it, great. If not, I'll just pass it to someone or, or recycle the materials, you know. So what makes me happy is just to create the stuff. That's what's most important for me. At Craft Lake City, for me, it's, uh, it's been a great experience because, as I mentioned before, I never show this to anybody. And then I saw the reaction of people, and I saw that people kind of care about what I did. That made me feel really good. Like, can I, I finally share what I'm doing with someone. I didn't have that experience before, like in that level. So it was a great opportunity for me. I met so many good people, and great exposure. And I mean, I was able to get rid of some of my pieces that I kind of wanted to go away, <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> my name is Jorge Arellano, Stencil Jam. And I do stencil graffiti art and you can find my stuff on www.stenciljam.com and I also have a blog on uh, stenciljam wordpress. <laughs>